The ISIS held area is rapidly shrinking in the city of Deir Ezzer. On November 1, the Syrian Arab Army SAA, Tiger Forces and the Republican Guard liberated Jubilee neighborhood, the Central Park area, the School of Law and Education area and the southern part of Hamataya neighborhood. Thus, over the last few days, ISIS has lost over 40% of the area that it had been controlling in the northern part of the city. On November 2, the Tiger forces and the Republican Guard advanced deeper in Hamataya engaging ISIS in an intense fighting. If the ISIS defense there collapses, the terrorist group will have no chances to resist further attacks of government forces any notable amount of time. As soon as Deir Ezzer is liberated, the Sandin's allies will focus on clearing the rest of the western bank of Euphrates from ISIS. On November 1, 6-22 M3 strategic bombers flew over the territory of Iran and Iraq and carried out a massive strike on ISIS positions near the ISIS-held border town of Al-Burkham. The strikes destroyed outposts, ammunition and weapons depots belonging to the terrorist group. Meanwhile, the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces seized the villages of al Qabat and al baqa are east of the Eretzer city. 29 ISIS members were reportedly killed in the clashes there. Now, the SDF fully encircled the ISIS held town of Al Buzardia and cut off the only road that could be used by the SAT to reach it. Soon, the SDF will start storming the town itself. Late on November 1, Israeli warplanes bombed a copper factory in Hysia Industrial Area 30 kilometers south of Palm City. Local sources added that the factory was hit with seven unspecified munitions. In response, the 72 Brigade of the Syrian Air Defense Forces launched an unspecified ground-to-air missile at the Israeli warplanes. The missile exploded east of al Qzair city near the Syrian-Lebanese border. No hits were reported. The 72 Brigade of the Syrian Air Defense Forces is mainly armed with the old-fashioned Soviet-made S-75 air defense system, 